Doctor Strange is a masterclass in visual effects and taps into a whole new dimension, several of them actually, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe to explore. But with so many elements in play, from time manipulation to the multiverse to metaphysics and even magic flying cloaks, there was so much to explain that there were bound to be a few loose ends left straggling. Here are some of the major questions Doctor Strange left unanswered. You're a man looking at the world through a keyhole. Fair warning, this video is filled with spoilers, so those who haven't seen the movie yet should hang out in another dimension for the time being. Why Earth? As with many of Marvel's movie properties, our mega-villain of the day, Dormammu, is a creature that defies all logic. He, or should we say it, is a being existing outside time and space that likes to feed on the many generous parts of the universe that give life. And he's set a giant purple eye on Earth. Of all planets, why does our blue-green blob become such an important conquest for Dormammu? Our best guess is it wouldn't be a movie if not. That's why. How ancient? Doctor Strange asks the question we're all wondering about. Exactly how ancient is the Ancient One? We never find out. Mordo does spill some vague details about how she's of Celtic descent, but nobody knows anything more than that. We can only imagine how she became this bald, scarred, sophisticated wizard, and certainly have no idea why she'd stick around Earth if she had unlimited access to the entire continuum of existence. Why Mordo? Mordo came to the Ancient One with an injury of his own, but we don't know any details. More importantly, it isn't clear why he was ever chosen to be the Ancient One's apparent second-in-command. She certainly doesn't inspire confidence when she tells Strange that she thinks Mordo has an inflexible soul and can only conjure up he's strong as a compliment for the character. Why did she pluck him to be her right-hand man if she thought he was so stiff? Palmer who? Obviously, Doctor Strange and Christine Palmer have a history together, but we aren't getting the whole story here. On the one hand, he's quick to lash out at her cruel words that demean their past romance. On the other, he clings to a watch she gave him with an inscription about their love standing the test of time and turns to her multiple times for help. So what gives? What's the magic rule? Those sorcerer protégés were pretty loose-lipped about Kamartage, weren't they? Pangborn knew Strange for all of two minutes before he let the source of his healing slip, and Mordo was quick to guide him there, no questions asked, when he heard him mutter the name in passing. It's all a matter of moving the plot along in both cases, of course, but are there any rules to when, how, or why you can just divulge this information to strangers? Seems like they might be a little more guarded about their precious sanctuary is all we're saying. Teach me. Who's Cloak? We're told the Cloak of Levitation is a fickle creature, but that's basically all we know about it. It's a compliment to Strange that the Cloak has chosen him, but why? What became of its last owner? Did the Ancient One know this person? Is it a sentient being? The other magical artifacts we saw didn't seem to have such strong personalities, so what makes the Cloak so different? No hands? When Strange first joins the crew at Kamartage, he's not strong enough to heal his damaged hands. But after he ascends to untold strength and capability, he's still not able, or perhaps not willing, to undo the nerve damage to his hands. Is it because the one-handed master showed off his fire-spinning skills and changed his mind? Or is he just incapable of willing his cells and nerves to correct themselves? Hard to say. No mask? Cassilis and his cohorts all got some purple skin masks complete with scaly stone man rot around their eyes once they started channeling dark power. However, they only shared one facial tell with the Ancient One who'd done the same, the insignia on their foreheads. Why is it that she was immune to the Dormammu mask but not the symbol when she was channeling dark power? Why wait? It doesn't really make sense for the Ancient One to die when she does. Remember her big speech about how the body has the ability to heal itself with the right spiritual motivation? No matter how grave her wounds might have been during the battle with Cassilius, she should have been able to help herself. Unless this was kind of an Obi-Wan Kenobi help Luke with the Force kind of thing. But then we've still got some other questions. Doctor Strange definitely had the ability to manipulate time by the point of her ultimate injury, so why didn't he whip out his event rehearsal trick to save her, or the London Sanctum, or undo everything in New York for that matter? This doesn't make any sense. Not everything has to. Okay. No fair? When Doctor Strange banishes Cassilius and his lackeys to Dormammu's dimension, they float up and are instantly flayed alive, or so it seems. He says they're still getting their wish for eternal life, but it isn't going to be pleasant. What Strange experienced during his limited time in Dormammu's dimension was an endless barrage of brutality. Are we to assume that's what's coming their way too? They're obviously in the doghouse after picking the fight that led Doctor Strange to Dormammu's breakfast nook. But Cassilius was clearly a powerful sorcerer, so Dormammu will probably keep him on his team, right? 
Why Pangborn? In the post credit scene, Mordo has broken bad after learning that the Ancient One had been lying to him and drawing on dark energy. Mordo's new mission is to trim down the list of magicians around the world, and his first victim of sorcery stripping is Jonathan Pangborn. This was a guy who had nothing to do with any of this stuff and expressly chose not to be a part of the Ancient One's army. So why him? Was Mordo getting vengeance for Pangborn sending Strange to Kamartage, or was the guy just doing more than shooting hoops in his downtime? Thanks for watching! Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch more videos like the one you just saw. And don't forget to check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.